All right, this is a review for the audio book, um, the audio version of A Thousand Splendid Sons. It's read by Atosa Leone and written by Khaled. I think that's how you say it. I, I apologize if I said it wrong, but Khaled Husseini. And yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a bit about this book. I, I didn't like it. I'm going to get that out of the way straight up front. This was like a three-star novel for me, like all the way through until we got like close to the very end. And the thing that dropped this down to a one is it's propaganda. It's emotionally manipulative propaganda disguised as fiction. And um, that just, that's, uh, <laughs> that just, I was just like, are you kidding me? Really? Okay. Well, one star. I can't stand that. So this whole book is, it takes place during the backdrop of Afghanistan. We have the, this young girl named Miriam. It starts with her in the 60s. Her father's name is Jalid. And Miriam is an illegitimate child. She's born of a mistress. Her mother's name is Nana. And uh, Jalid, he owns a movie theater. And um, he comes to visit Miriam, and Miriam thinks he's great. And Nana just thinks that she's telling her, you know, your dad's scum, your dad's every horrible thing you can think of. Don't trust him, he's terrible. You'll find out. He'll do you like he did me. And uh, eventually, Miriam goes to um, his house, wants to see him. Things happen. And her mother, Nana, ends up committing suicide because she thinks Miriam's abandoning her for her father. But her father is married to three women already. The three wives want to get rid of Miriam, so they arrange a marriage with an older gentleman, Miriam's like 16. They marry her off to a 45 year old dude named Rashid. And Rashid lives in Kabul, Afghanistan. So Miriam is married off and goes, and this guy is horrible. He's a shoemaker. He's a one dimensional character. He's just straight up like the worst of the worst, who just proceeds to beat her and bully her over I don't know, 20, 30 year period. I mean, it's it's pretty bad. Um, like I said, it's very emotionally manipulative. You know, Miriam is like, she's this innocent character that these bad things just happen to. And Rashid's horrible. And meanwhile, in the backdrop of all this in Afghanistan, we have political upheaval the overthrow of the ruler of Afghanistan by a military coup, and then the coup, like, becomes communist, and then uh, Russia, the Soviet Union, invades to defend... I don't know where I was at. Um, the Soviet Union invades the, the Soviet war. Of course, the Soviets, uh, the, the... Whatever, the Mujahideen are backed by the U.S. government, the, 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 you know, we never get really into the depths of all that. Um, but this is all happening in the backdrop. And then uh, Rashid ends up taking a, a, a second wife named Leila. Leila is also, like, this is years later. So Miriam is much older. She's unable to have children. That makes Rashid mad, so he beats her even more. She, he marries a second wife, Layla. She's like 16. So now we have like, he's just going to rinse and repeat the same thing he did to Miriam. So all this polygamy stuff's going on. He's just terrible. Um, I won't give away the end of the book, like what happens to these characters. But I mean, like in the backdrop of all of this, like I said, all this political upheaval is taking place. And then we finally get to the Taliban build up and then 9-11 happening and the United States invasion of Afghanistan and it's just like okay this is the part where I finally figured out like this is a propaganda piece I mean you read the back and Khaled Husseini 
you know, he moved to the United States in 1980. He was born in Kabul. But uh, he was, in 2006, he was named the U.S. Envoy to UNHCR, the United Nations Refugee Agency. Uh, he's a personal friend of George W. Bush. So it, it's a neocon propaganda piece. Like it's, <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's an emotionally manipulative propaganda piece to support uh, US imperialism. So one star, I don't recommend it because propaganda garbage. I will be returning this to the free little library. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.